Welcome back to Against the Grain Living. It's uh, June 22nd. I have to cover another afternoon shift, so I came up for, uh, try to make three, three hours worth of progress. So the trench has got a little bit of water in them. Doggies are happy. We are evaporating on our water situation up there, though. Let's go see how our shed looks. See if we caught a, collected any water. So I plan on finishing or building the door, the sliding door and get it hung. So at the very minimum, I have to get uh, some more boards on. Have to take it's got water in it. I don't know how much. Hmm. You all right, Moose? So we're gonna put the rest of the boards on and across there. And I'm probably gonna put one across the bottom just to try to weather it in. So you'll have to step over it to get inside, but still have everything, so that's good. All right, let's get to it. So I'm just piecing together the landscape fabric over the last remaining openings and then uh, measuring out the boards. The bottom board here, I had to scribe along the contour of the rock. And then I just started uh, cutting all the short boards across the top and along the side and trying to finish the siding of this. I left all the nails out uh, because I wanted to fill in some of the gaps a little bit better, but. Well, I gotta pack up and get out of here. I gotta get to work. Didn't get as much done. I'm sure you're tired of hearing that. Um, but I did organize things and uh, now that I got things a little more organized inside there you know, it was a little bit more efficient working we got to figure out this sliver here and then this board should case all that I left these out because I think I'm going to split the difference on some of these gaps make it look a little nicer and uh, I'm running out of boards that are at least 104 inches long um, out of my I had a pile of stuff that uh, it wasn't for part of the cabin. But I need one more on the other side. I ran out of uh, uh, landscape fabric. I have another roll at home, partial roll, so I'll bring it up. Uh, I had a board on there. I'll just pop it off. I left the nails out, but I got to gonna drive a couple nails in here just to hang things and get a little bit more organized. And I got to pack up and get out of here, get into work. So we'll see you next time. Uh, so I'll have to build the door and hang the track and do that last board and what you see on the front here um and then that'll be the tools shed for now um we can always come back to this thing and tidy up from work and all sorts of stuff might change a few things with it some of these boards are pretty crappy but they're they'll be good for now um yeah so take care we'll see you next time we get up here um next week i'll be uh, working on the foundation so that'll be part of the main cabin build uh, playlist and then this one will be on the side jobs again so take care well we're back here november 2nd had a couple more bundles of that already purchased in the garage so i brought it up to store up here for the winter uh i only have a couple hours it's mainly just to get all the tools out of here for the winter and try to fill in as you can see we got snow fill in um i never got around to building the door for the tool shed Ooh. Piece of plastic there, that's slippery. We're just gonna put some boards across the bottom there. So I'd like to get this little sliver filled in. I already had this top piece cut from a while ago that goes across the top and finishes that off. And then I need like two boards on this end. I'd like to get all that done and then maybe make some sort of framed uh, tarp door for the winter and because it wasn't uh, the full height of the door I'll just make a big step solid step tack some boards on with some screws and then I'll be able to open and close just a tarp door uh, for the winter if I can find I think I have a couple hinges around here anyway we're gonna we probably only have half hour to fiddle with this we got to get all of this stuff that's on the platform uh, packed up and out of here and I have an hour so half hour to tinker and then uh, 
I don't have all the tools and everything set up perfect to uh, do it efficiently either. So we're just gonna deal with it and carry on. And we're dealing with iced up wood. I might actually get a different board. That one didn't come off the mill very good. I just filled in that little sliver quickly and put the top trim piece on that was cut uh, back in June. I had to remove the eaves trough, the makeshift eaves trough, because I knew the ice and snow would wreck it this winter. And then uh, I filled in this gap beneath my tarp door real quick. And on the north side of the building, just out of view there, I finished the last three boards. And then, uh, Ran out of time, so I couldn't frame up uh, a tarp door. Well, that's about all I have time for. It should, uh, hopefully it'll weather the winter all right. this last few items in the shed and we'll have to pack up we only got 15 minutes to get loaded and out of here there'll be lots of spring cleanup next year all the scraps that you can get Tidied up. I didn't even cut through an armrest of the chair. Right. Rest of that's coming with me. We ran out of time, so it's just going to be the tarp on the four nails in the corners, down bottom, but there's no gap anymore because of those boards. Anyway, any of the critical tools that I don't have doubles of, a lot of it's just hardware and stuff, but uh, the rest of this stuff's going to stay here. Hoses, extension cords, I got myself another air compressor, so that one's going to stay. But uh, yeah, we'll get the tarp on this and pack up. Well, thanks again for watching Against the Grain Living. This is sort of going to wrap up uh, building for 2023. When winter sets in, it's just going to be uh, hauling more materials in to be successful uh, next year with making more progress. Um, so stick with me. It'll be a long haul getting this project done, especially with the uh, little guy at home. He's taken up quite a bit of time, I imagine, for the first couple of years. And then hopefully we can start getting the whole family up here to enjoy what I'm trying to build. So we'll see you next time.